So this is volume one of the Bodleian copy of the Gutenberg Bible. Here we see the opening of uh, the book of Genesis. Um, as you can see, this copy is printed on paper. Not all copies were. Um, others were printed on vellum, calf skin, which is a lot thicker. Uh, so the ones which are printed on paper are normally found in two volumes, and the ones which are printed on vellum are sometimes found in three volumes in order to manage the size. Uh, it's perhaps also interesting to note the amount of, of animal life that would have gone into a volume printed on, uh, on vellum. For one volume printed on, uh, on vellum, you would require the skin of at least 170 calves. Um, and if you then think that they probably printed, well, at least 20, 30, 40 copies, a lot of cows uh, went into the production uh, of just the Gutenberg Bible. And you, you, it also gives you an impression of the expense vellum must have been. So although paper was um, at this point still not exactly cheap, paper was actually the most important expensive things for the printers to acquire. It was the largest part of their investment when they were producing a large volume. But in the course of the 15th century, paper prices must have been falling. It remained an important investment, but because of the interaction between demand and production, um, paper fell in, in value, and it was in any case cheaper than vellum. Now, printing doesn't depend on paper, but printing as a commercial success would probably not have been possible without paper. So it's uh, in many ways very, very appropriate to have a paper copy because that in a sense marks it, let's say, its modernity out more clearly. Now, as you can also see here, it's actually really clear on the page. Um, Gutenberg's ink uh, is remarkable for being very, very shiny. Um, ink uh, we call it printer's ink, it's not ink. Um, you know that if you ever try to write uh, with, uh, with a pen, uh, ink flows off metal, that's why you can write neatly with a, a metal nib. So pouring writing ink on metal would have been a bad idea, it would run off. Um, so printer's ink is actually a sort of a varnish. Uh, so it's based on oil which has pigments suspended in it. The black is carbon, probably lamp black. Some of it is graphite. Um, uh, it may not be possible to see that in the pictures you see here, but if you go to the website and look at the enlargements, you will probably be able to see that there are shiny bits uh, in the individual, in the inking of the individual letters. Part of that is graphite. Part of that is also uh, due to a very high metal content. Um, and that makes it really easy to recognize a page from the Gutenberg Bible. If you stumble across something that has that sort of slight shimmering, uh, glittering uh, uh, content and has 40 or 42 lines per page, then you have a Gutenberg Bible uh, in, in, uh, in front of you.